I'm Kathy Newman. Uh, I'm a professor of English and Literary and Cultural Studies here at Carnegie Mellon University. And I am talking today about banned books. Banned Books Week started in 1982. It was actually started by a group of booksellers who were noticing that the things they were selling were getting increasingly challenged. Uh, in libraries and school curriculums across the country. And so they asked this super librarian, her name is Judith Krug, who's originally from Pittsburgh. They asked her to put together a display of banned books for one of their big conventions. And it was so successful, it became an annual event. So it's incredibly rare for a book to face a real challenge by the U.S. government. But what happens in dozens of communities every day, year after year, is somebody walks into a public library or they call up their kid's school library and they say, I don't want this book in this library anymore. And every library deals with it a little bit differently, but there's some standard procedures and then that librarian reports that to the American Library Association and the, the ALA then tracks that year after year after year. Um, and in some cases, people still get together to burn books. That happens in America in uh, the 21st century.